Come on, we already have them, sir. All right, don't, uh, you folk in the back, come closer. Act like your favorite singer's up here. Come closer, come on, come on, come closer, come closer, come closer, come closer. Come closer, you the, you, the, you the rich remnant. Get your Bibles out. We're so happy for Chris. Oh, man. Come on, let man. <laughs> I'm glad Les, uh, Lexi got somebody she's going to listen to. <laughs> this is going to be fun to watch. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's, what's the little boy's name? Ryan. Ryan. Where Ryan? Ryan anointed. Where my Ryan at? Yeah, buddy. That Ryan is anointed. He come to do God's bidding. Give me the book of Acts. So you can tell your friends, I went to a church, they didn't have no mass choir, they had some piped in CDs, and the Holy Ghost fell. Amen. We, we, May Lee can take as long as she wants to recoup. Uh, I told y'all to enjoy Davion and Davion while we're free. Next time you ever never gonna call you some money. <laughs> Man. Oh man, they they already working on something right, a bunch of stuff. Daydream, an audition, the production, the play, the show, he got in. Man, that boy is, hey man. So me and his mama gonna go to the award show one day. Y'all, 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 y'all watch on TV. <laughs> Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12. Get your Bibles out. I want you to know that whoever, whatever, it's going to be rough now, whatever, I got to go ahead for this message at 1 in the morning. Whatever is trying to kill your destiny is going to die. How do you like that? I'm going to say it again. Whatever is trying to kill your destiny, whoever is trying to kill your destiny is going to die. Something or somebody going to have to get out your way. Amen. Because God has need of you. Whoever harassing you, trying to stop you, they're going to get out your way. It's called the hand of Herod. The hand of Herod. Acts chapter 12. All right, look at verse 1. Start reading. Now, now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. See, sometimes, little John, Satan get on a roll. This Herod, who, who was related to the other Herod that had John the Baptist killed, well, this Herod is trying to win. He's trying to appease the Jews. So every now and then, Satan tries to do something spectacular, right? Where he seems as though he is invincible and can't be stopped. But our God has all power. So every, every now and then, you have a Herod in your life that thinks, that's motivated, a spirit to stopping you and destroying your destiny. This word is for you. I'm telling you again, whatever's in your way is going to die. It's going to get all you. All you have to do is keep praising God. Don't hit the panic button. Don't fall apart. Amen. Watch what happens. God is crazy about some of you. So this Herod, he, he gets on a roll. And look what he does. Verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Now, how many, now some of y'all already know he in trouble. How many of y'all know the little boy? He already in trouble. 
because he done fooled around. See, sometimes you stay in church long enough and don't panic and don't uh, go back to the honey dripper lounge where you came from. You'll find out Satan will do too much. And you'll be like, oh, I see what's happening now. He done did a little bit too much. He done fooled around because Jesus had disciples and just like Pastor, he had an inner circle. Everybody can't be in the inner circle. All right? Jesus had his disciples, but he had three people he kicked it with. Peter, James, and John, sons of Zebedee. Herod done fooled around and killed somebody in the inner circle. How many of y'all know it's over with for him? He, uh, he done stepped into the inner circle. How many of y'all know he only got in by permission? Who in here know he really didn't kill him? His time was up. Come on now. You can't kill what God says is going to be a lie. So his time was up. All right? But he gets in the inner circle. And now there's only two left. Herod is in trouble. Uh, you need to email, text, whoever messing with you, that condition, whatever it is. It will not finish out the chapter. <laughs> All right? You got to know that. You got to know that. When things come up against you, you got to say, declaring the end from the beginning. This thing going to end. Man, we so proud of you. This thing going to end. Now you're going to get back on track with all those giftings. Huh? Matter of fact, the spirit. We will work with you. We left you alone. You got crazy. We left you alone. But that spirit that, 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 that failed in that corner to deliver you, it wasn't supposed to stop you from going to school and athletic. It was supposed to kill you. But it failed because as soon as your aunt came in, that she brings in all the disobedient spirits like her. Y'all ain't hearing me. So we, and the rest of them are coming. Amen. And amen. All coming. Now that's what you've been praying for. I have suffered and cried. Amen. Harry got to take his hand off the Bradley's. So the spirit that did not deliver you in the form of a funeral just got replaced. Satan don't play, man. Satan does not play with angels that fail. Some of y'all should already be rejoicing. He done try to deliver your marriage, your health, your career. There have been demons bothering you, messing with you, picking at you. Amen. Probing, trying to find a way in. But you in here, the sanctuary today, when I'm still here praying, you ought to give God some glory. You are already been declared the winner by unanimous decision. The hand of Herod is going to get off of you. <laughs> I'll show you. So, you know, he didn't kill James. Well, you know, and, and, and they all hyped. And, well, now you got to go for Peter. That's where he messed up at. All right. <laughs> they might have got somebody in your family, but you ain't the one. Amen. And you the one. You have, you have, you have uh, uh, God's mandate on you. So reverse. Verse 2, he kills James, the brother John, with the sword. And he gets happy. Sometimes Satan get happy. He get excited. Verse 3. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. All right, now look at verse 4. Now he's on a roll now, okay? Verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quarterings of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Here's a little sidebar. Me and Sister Pastor, you know, I'm working on something that's on a national level. And, uh, and uh, individual did something. And and, and, and I'm involved. It looked like they was winning. So I called assistant pastor and said, it sure looked like this person is getting away with this. 
Okay? You got to know this stuff. Uh, that's why I write this down. Psalm 73. Anytime you think Satan is getting away with anything, just read Psalm 73. And the psalmist said, get it. I mean, you ain't got nothing else to do but listen to me. You get Psalm 73. Let me show you something here. Because sometimes the wicked will distract you. And you think that they're getting away with something. Huh? You got to calm yourself down. Huh? You got to calm yourself down and know that God is angry with the wicked every day. Not every other day. Not three out of five days. He's angry with them every day. Psalm 73. Look at verse 1. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. How many of y'all had some feet that were almost gone? Now y'all lying. I know <laughs> My steps had well nigh slipped. Come on. I don't care how long you've been physically in here, you haven't always been emotionally in here. Everybody has something pulling on them. Everybody had a reason to stay home. Everybody has something, amen, that's greater than them. That's why we come to the house of God. Amen. Because we want the God that's in us to be greater than our circumstance. Amen. But everybody has a circumstance. Everybody in your row got something. The writer said, my steps were gone. They almost slipped. And like when you was at Walmart and you tried to pay with your debit card and they laughed at you. <laughs> or when you tried to put it into the machine to get cash back. And a slip of paper came back and said, we finally caught you. Don't you ever come up here again. <laughs> And you tried to play it off like you were looking at your balance. <laughs> and when that piece of paper said, stay right there, we looking for you. <laughs> you all up. Huh? That, 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 that's embarrassing. And then yet, the person in front of you, have you ever added stuff up? and just had enough all in your pocketbook pulling lint out finally got some pennies and the person in front of you is fighting to find a 20 and you know them you know they hustling you know she got a sugar dad she got a Friday evening man she got a Saturday morning man she got a Tuesday after three dude and she fighting to find a 20 and there you are walking with God finally got the last 43 cents Almost put it back. <laughs> Act like you changed your mind. You didn't change your mind. Your pocketbook changed your mind. Amen. You couldn't find the 43 cent. And you found it, and there you are in line. And, and they like, I think I got something smaller. And it hits you. Huh? There you are at the bus stop. Huh? And somebody ungodly drive by on 24. <laughs> and you got on size 12s. And they drive by on 24. Trunk bobbing up and down. And they go your little sanctified heart dropping. Huh? Oh, you got to take your eye off the wicked if you're going to stay in here. Huh? Here you ain't got nobody shoveling your own snow. An old girl across the street got three or four dudes on swole coming by all the time. <laughs> Mowing the grass, everything, everything, and you ain't care for your heart to drop. Get your eye off the wicked. Only time your eye get off the wicked is when they get indicted. <laughs> then you go into praise. Uh -huh. <laughs> then you're like, oh, I thank God and buy that TV from there. I didn't know it was stolen. Uh huh. Or then you be trying to get the TV back. You should have known you can't get no Sony for $84. Come on now, huh? 
Get your eye off the wicked. Get your eye off the woman with boyfriend. Get your eye off the man running off. Get your eye off of him. All that illegal money. God is angry with the wicked every day. Keep doing God's will. God will elevate you. Uh, this right is honest though. He said, I was envious at the foolish. Verse 3. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, <laughs> for there are no bands in their death. Wow. But their, Read. But their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Read. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people re return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doth God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly. Hold on. Not only are they wicked, they got a lot of mouth. They make you feel bad. Huh? Oh, you just buying cars from that preacher. Not your $20. Your $20 ain't do nothing out there, y'all. Hey, Amen. You can't have move the needle. You feel me? He said, no, you got to rebuke that on your own. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> you don't need no help rebuking that. Amen. But they always have something to say about your holy living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Always. They think it's funny. Amen. It's hilarious. Until they get sick. Until the bottom fall out. Huh? Ah. Here it is in the Bible. You're not by yourself. You're not by yourself. It looked it look like they just got so much to say. And every now and then they catch you on a down moment. That's why when you get up in the morning you can't afford... To have too many down moments because Satan going to capitalize on it. Uh -huh, and try to talk you out of your salvation. And make you think that somebody ungodly is getting away with something. Oh, you got to be kidding. What's up a man so up that shall he also reap? It is coming. Amen. But this person is honest. Look at the next verse. Verse 12. Be behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world, they increase in riches. Amen. The, 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 the young man that was here, I brought a word to last month, came back out of town, he was gone. This is a dangerous little church. That's about the second time, that, second, third time that's happened. Okay. And I remember saying, I said, look at the people out there that Satan has offered kingdoms to. He, has a, he can offer you a kingdom. He can blow you up. Okay? He has a, it's in your Bible. When he took Jesus to that pinnacle, that's because he has been given the power to do that. You ought to thank God that you have what you have and Satan ain't trying to blow you up. Amen. Because one thing about the devil, he gets tired of using the same folk over and over again. Right? But I remember and 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 the young man had a smirk on his face. I mean, he very respectful of me, but he thought what I was saying was funny because he didn't see the future. He didn't see his life being gone. Okay? Uh, remember that. When a word comes, don't discard it. When a word comes, judge yourself. When a word comes, make sure you grab hold and put it all the way down in your heart. Amen. When a word, especially when a word comes and God is giving you mercy. That's why I wanted us to rejoice with the men. That's the mercy of God. Amen. We're supposed to rejoice when somebody has overcame everything that's tried to stop them. Uh, when somebody has refused to accept what Satan has offered, when somebody said, I don't want no shortcut, I want what thus saith the Lord, I want to do it the right way, my soul is at stake, I don't care, I don't want it, homie, I don't ride full deep, I want what God has for me, everybody should have been rejoicing, for a young man, you know how many young men, amen, 
man we bury every week. Yeah. Nurse, nurse, you couldn't come to work, you couldn't come to church this month because something popped off, right? Somebody had a gun, right? They were shooting at the hospital. Young men. They locked the hospital down. That this morning, right? That's why you called my wife and said, I can't come to church because I can't get out of here. Huh? Satan done already, amen, acted early in the morning, got band time early in the morning, and yet this young man escapes and comes to the sanctuary, amen. So here, somebody in trouble, and yet one comes out, amen, and makes it to the house of safety. That is worthy of praise and adoration. You ought to be happy. Don't wait till it's your son, your daughter. You ought to be happy for Mozilla's grandson. Amen. <laughs> On the same day that Satan took somebody out, somebody came in. Amen. And escaped. So God <laughs> is always going to one up the enemy. We so glad for that young man. Amen. Amen. Verse 17. Here's how you respond to people that look like they're getting away with something. <laughs> I know they look like they're rolling right now. They ain't rolling. They heading toward destruction. Amen. They ain't rolling. They ain't doing better than you. You got to take your eye off of them and get your eye on Christ Jesus. Amen. Look at verse 17. This is why you come to church. <laughs> Un until I went into the sanctuary. Until I went where? Sanctuary. See, you can't go to the club and see them differently. You can't go to the club. <laughs> that ain't going to help you. Amen. Huh? If your family's ungodly and they laugh at your walk with God, you can't go around them and see things differently. Uh, that's, how, that's how Satan wiped out whole families for generation after generation. Because they won't let nobody escape and walk with God. Uh, everybody been to the pen. Everybody got a baby out of wedlock. Everybody broke. Everybody, amen, is substandard housing. Everybody waiting on the government check. That's because nobody escaped. You ought to thank God you in a sanctuary and say, amen, look what wickedness has done to my family. Look how it's wiped out the best and the brighter. Look how it's impoverished them. Look who should be rich who walking down 16th Street talking to themselves. Somebody give God a look who really should have. Think about it. <laughs> Until I win. Beautiful daughter, come closer. Yeah, twin. Yeah, 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 yeah. God dealing with you. Come closer. Got a seat right for you. God dealing with you. This is your time. They're going to blow their mind when God do something for you. <laughs> it's going to blow their mind. Amen. Comes that time in your life uh, when nothing else matters. Right, come that time in your life when you ain't trying to get off that, you're trying to get off that losing streak. You ever know what I'm talking about? You ever been on a losing streak? Even the people around you that act like they got it going on, you finally realize they were losing too. The people calling you were losing, texting you were losing, coming on your house, losing, drinking your liquor they were losing, smoking your weed they were losing, amen, they all losing. You say, I don't want to lose no more. I don't want to drink with you. I don't want to smoke with you. Don't call me. We've been doing the same thing since we left high school. We have been doing the same thing. We ain't got nothing. Somebody tell God, thank you. We've been doing the same thing. You 45 years talking about you a Benson Bunny. You are what? <laughs> a 
a Benson bunny. You a running rabbit, a Benson bunny. You 50 something years old. Come on, I'm a central eagle. You a little bird that got hit crossing the street by now. I'm a Northwest Husky. You got the Husky part right. Come on now. You but may been on a I don't, I don't mess up folk. Been on a losing streak. You better thank God for the sanctuary. You better thank God for the word. Give me a word. That's why some of y'all, man, if your old lover came in here, you'd be trying to tip out. <laughs> Who you used to be sprung on. All snaggle tube, all gumming all their food now. Come on now. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Somebody get tired of a losing streak. When you come in the house of God, you come in here to win, amen. You didn't come here to be broke and poor and beat down and second hand. You came to progress and to prosper. That's why we don't have no slick word here. See, I ain't got no choir. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring my keyboard in here. I got bad. I got a keyboard. Oh Lord! Well, somebody praying. <laughs> well, I can. Huh? It's the house of safety. It's comfort in here. It's peace in here. Ain't nobody looking at you cross-eyed. Amen. It's blessing in here. You get up at seven. It's some abundance in here. It's some rich folk in here. You better believe it. Don't go buy me no cheap robe because I ain't wearing it. <laughs> All you need is some slick word to continue your losing streak. You need a word that's going to pin you against the wall. Huh? You need a word that's going to take that girlfriend vibe off of you. Huh? <laughs> Lord, you need a word that's going to bring the entrepreneur out of you and get that hustle off of you. You ain't successful. <laughs> have you ever seen so many broke hustlers in your life? Don't even have Gucci. Got Uchi. Got, 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 got. <laughs> I like that young man. That man likes everything I say. Let me keep talking to him. Hey, come on now. How many of y'all know some broke hustlers? Now you know they always trying to talk to you and inbox you. Right. All those old lame old hustlers. What they gonna do with a stunner like you? Huh? What they gonna do with you? Huh? Besides have you at CBS in line. Somebody thank God for the man. I'm on something today. Hey, Amen. Thank God the sanctuary is supposed to break your losing streak. You over here to win. <laughs> you over here to prosper so people start talking about you. <laughs> they quit talking about me, start talking about you. Right. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up and get something. Get a bunch of something. Hey, Amen. So they can talk about you. And then some of y'all already prosper. You try to be all discreet about it. I'm going to tell everybody know y'all blessed. See this couple right here? They live on an estate, y'all. Amen. They are blessed in Christ Jesus. Amen. Uh, they got money. They got property. They got boats, vehicles, and life. I'm going to tell it. If I'm going to be usher, I'm going to tell it all. I am not the only one blessed in here. I got a bunch of folk in your world that are blessed. Amen. Until we went into the sanctuary of the Lord and got off that losing streak and found out what was ours in Christ Jesus. My God will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. All that crazy beauty on you. Watch all those broke friends start talking about you. And you grew up with them. They don't ever want you to go beyond where they went. They will call you, text you, hang out with you. Just don't leave us. You done left them. You sitting next to a bona fide lawyer. You sitting next. When 
When you go to the sanctuary, you understand people's in. They don't move you no more. Man, a lady rolled up on me yesterday and talked about basically all the kids I done buried. I done buried, man, have we, this church done buried. They was talking about why we was burying folk free. Right. I ain't never charged nothing. Thank God for a house of God. Say what you want to say. But somebody received help from the Lord here. Somebody's losing streak ended in this house. It ended. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I therein. Look at verse 18. Surely thou didst set them in what kind of places? Slippery. Slip sliding away. Slip sliding away. Oh, I got me a little something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help y'all. Huh? Slippery places. As opposed to a firm foundation. Anybody doing better than you? Anybody doing better than you? <laughs> and when you get the eyes of the Lord, you're going to be able to see that. Blessed are the pure heart, they shall see God. You're going to see they ain't doing better than you. <laughs> you are all that to God. He sent his son and died for you. He filled you with the Holy Ghost on a Sunday. Now all those things that the enemy just do, he's going to wipe out your youth. So you be an old raggedy, crusty 30 year old man. Talking about how I used to be able to dunk. We ain't dunk what, donuts? <laughs> I used to be able to play. You should have seen me back then. No, 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 we don't remember you back then. Thank God. You are not on a slippery place anymore. Huh? Remember the commercial? I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up. Huh? Now some of y'all, when that come on, you just say, uh-uh. I fell, but God picked me up. Amen. I got up. Who are you glad they got up? I got up. Got up out of that mess. Got up out of that uh, relationship. Got up out of that crazy dead-end job. Got out of that crazy messed up circumstance. No, 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 no. The woman in the commercial, was she kissing about 80? 90? But, 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 but that ain't funny if you're 23. That ain't funny if you're 37. You're 54, you can't get up? That ain't funny. That's why you ought to thank God. Amen. All of us have fallen, but man, God lifted us up. Amen. We got up. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, go back to Acts. I just wanted you to get your eye off the wicked. Tell first cousin, leave you alone. You, you. <laughs> it's funny, though. It's funny because I've been doing this for men, little John. So the people that I told when they was teenagers they was going to get old, I was right. <laughs> they tell them, man, they tell them, you can get old. They all crossing people over and dunking and all that. Oh, keep it up. Keep having birthdays. That jumper going to fall short. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, they got old. The people, the kids, when I was doing all my little road, they, they in their 40s now. That's how long I've been doing this. They 40. Some of them look bad. They're not cute no more. They're not even attractive. You know, you got to, you know, when you got to tell them, well, you, they have a nice personality, which means they don't look too good. But, but they got a nice personality. Cause not, 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 not because that life out there. How many of y'all see some people that are like, is that so-and-so? Yep. 
they like a stick been beaten up. Come on now, come on, Nick, you're going to tell the truth. You ever see somebody talking about, Nikki, Nikki, you're like, who are you? <laughs> who, who, who are you? Don't you know I'm your cousin? Oh, oh snap. <laughs> you sure look bad. <laughs> my favorite story is at my class reunion. They'd have heard it, but man, oh, man. This girl said, Ronnie, hey, how are you? I'm like, who is this? That's what I was thinking. Who is this? <laughs> He's like, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just ad-libbing. I'm like, who is this? I'm ad-libbing, you know? I'm just following along. I said, you know what? Let me go check the yearbook. Who is this? I checked the yearbook. I used to go with her. <laughs> True story. <laughs> There's a word that rhymes with ham that I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I used to go with her. I like. Woo! <sighs> you should have followed me to the sanctuary. No, for real. I'm like. True, true story. You better stay over in here. <laughs> you, better, you better stay in here. I mean, get in here tight. Don't sit in the back. Get over here by the altar. Look at you. Now, y'all going to be mad when she's still looking like that at 60. You're going to be real mad. I know she didn't have some work done. She had no work done. She stayed on the altar. She stayed inside the church. Amen. Go back to Herod. He about to die, y'all. We got to get talk about Herod again. He ain't going to make it. I done read this. I read this last night. He ain't going to make it. Uh, pick it up verse 5. Acts chapter 12. I'm almost done. Peter, there, therefore, was kept in prison. For pray, for prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for Okay, him. okay. I talked to this once before. See, so 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 Herod, Herod, like, all right, I got an inner so I kinda kill one. I'm gonna kill Peter now. Because I love the applause. Like I'm really feeling the applause. He said, and just to make sure, because I done heard some of these kind of people be escaping out of prison, but it ain't gonna happen this time. I'm gonna put 16 soldiers around him. You gonna embarrass me while I'm on a roll. 16. I'm going to make sure I'm going to have one chain. I'm trying to help somebody because Satan think he got you hemmed up. You ain't hemmed up. You a matter of fact, you already free. Lord, have me, buddy. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to put one on one hand, one on the other hand. If he escape, he's going to have to go through 16 people. They're going to work in shifts. I'm going to make sure if he try to get out, there's going to be some at the gate. I'm not going to get embarrassed. Oh, Satan, God going to embarrass you. He already embarrassed you when you try to get, when you kill Jesus. He, he, he going to keep embarrassing him. Huh? Matter of fact, those of you who are walking with God, it embarrasses Satan that you got away. Some of y'all, you, you are the, oh, it's an embarrassment. Amen. He did everything he could. Took your freedom, hooked you up with some pitiful people. Man, but you are in the sanctuary today. Somebody give God some praise. Amen. Remember that fool you could have hooked up with, but God sent a bow your way so that a treasure would never be molested and a tomorrow would have the bow. The more you praise God, you embarrass Satan. He should have killed you when he had the chance. He should have killed you when he had the gun on you. He should have killed you when you were in that jacked up relationship that stripped you. Stripped you. Oh, do you know? You don't even know who you sit next to. You know who you sit next to. Couldn't know now you think you know. Couldn't nobody hold him. Even now, I don't think he missed a shot in the 70s. 
you know you tell him I'm lying. You know you sitting next to you know how wealthy he should be. Not just him, his brother, all of them. I just want him one day. The worst thing in the world is you go to the direct center and cause he got a little gray in his beard, talking about I got him. I want to see the young dude hold him. When he do him, when he give him that double drop knee cross over and spin in his face, right now, right now, don't go picking him up at the, I got him, he the old one. He gonna give you buckets. You gonna think you Kentucky Fried when he get done with you. It's just buckets. But what would he have been if he had came to the sanctuary your age? We know you're going to be great. Look at your mama. Look at your daddy. You're going to be great and rich. Huh? If he would have had your support. He is a phenom. If he would have had your support. Structure. Discipline. All I want him to do is get Satan back from what you took from me. Amen. I'm going to get you back. Not only me, my brothers. I'm going to get you. You are not going to bury me, amen, with the satisfaction that you stripped me of the wealth. Matter of fact, I'm going to make you vomit up all my riches. I'm waiting for God. Y'all, y'all ain't hearing me. Amen. I love this kind of church where you can talk individually. Go on and give him some praise. You know how good you were. You know what God gave you. I'm not blowing you up. You had it like that. and couldn't hold you. Some people went to the pros and couldn't hold you. You remember when Andy couldn't hold you and Strictly couldn't hold you. Lord have mercy. Why don't you get Satan back? You come to church, you kept coming when your son quit, when Jamie quit, you keep coming. Because you know what Barlow say is real. I've been real ever since you met me. But I want God to do something for you. I want you to write a book. I want you to walk in the anointing. I want you to praise God. For every young man. See, I'm going to give you free reign. For every young man. Come here, I'm going to show right there. Don't worry, Stunner, he ain't going nowhere. See, young man right here. Just have a seat with him. You don't even know who you sit next to. Look at your mama. Your mama going to say, I don't know what. Your daddy, your daddy played for the Packers. You may not appreciate that. Because... I go home, it's structure, it's food, it's warm, I never got to spare, it's just structure. If you ever try to slip away, little John, if you ever see, he don't even know what he got. He grew up in it, he came from the hospital in it. And his mama said he's a phenom. He is, there's the other kids, then there's him. Does that sound familiar? They're the other kids. Then there's him. That's who you sit next to. There were the other people. Remember, he got a lot of size on him, but he had an eye. He had ability. He had heart. Amen. And then there was him. He has to make sure you take advantage of what God has already given you. So you need somebody. Amen. If you ever try to slip away because they can't always watch you, you always got this man saying, you better thank God for that mama and that daddy. Amen. And all that gifting and all that... Most people that have it, the ability like you, it doesn't dawn on them till they keep climbing and run into the best of the best. And when they run into the best of the best and can't compete, they go right into depression. There's always somebody better. But if you're appreciative and you learn to work hard and be thankful, as great as you are, you become greater. Amen. That's where you come in. Huh? 
That's where you come in. Can I just go ahead and use this man today? Amen. Cause I, 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 all right, come on. Stutter. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, he about to cry. Chris' father did not want him. Chris can play basketball. Chris can play football. His father didn't want him. But when little John come over here and say, I'm not your father, but I, oh, y'all ain't hearing me. I'm going to get Satan back. Now your father didn't want you. You got all this athletic ability. But the man who just hugged you is greater than your father. <laughs> huh? Let's see you out. That's what I love about a hood church. How else can I use this man? Uh, come on. This is the travels. He looked like Taji. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Who is that? Wilbur. He's a neighbor. He's across the street. His father. Wilbur McDowell was his father. You know, you know his dad. And Wilbur is your neighbor and decided to come to church. Hey, Wilbur, you look like a Taji glass, all right? Right before he was eating donuts, all right? Yeah, that Taji, 30-foot shooting Taji. You do his daddy. Go give his son some love, man. You're on a mission. To oh, y'all ain't hearing me. We, we, we got to get Satan back. Oh, y'all don't know what that means. What y'all looking at? Yeah, man. I love it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh. Man, I'm trying. Uh, look, I'm trying to look out for study here because she don't know me like he know me, but she trusts me. I uh, want one more study. Can I get your permission? Uh, she said. She said. All right, one more. Come, come on, man. Come on. We got to get Satan back. Because Satan will make him think his life is over with. Well, not today it ain't. Not today. We're going to switch it up. You play ball, don't you? You don't want to check him. <laughs> Trust me, you don't. Come around here. Now, here's what he going to do for you. You have no idea the little playground tricks he can show you. You already dominate because you're rough. I know you're rugged. <laughs> I know you're rugged. But you can't whoop your mama, though. She'll slam you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted. <laughs> but you love to play ball, right? 
And you ain't got nobody but her to come to your games. She already crying. She ain't got nobody. Man, y'all even know what I'm doing this morning. They already can't hold you because you're rough. But if here's what he'll do for you. He will show you hood playground tricks with the ball. You'll fool around and get a scholarship. No coach, you got to understand, no coach can teach you better than this man. He was a natural. Left hand, right hand, how to finish. Huh? And you know why you need him? Because when, you, when, it, when he get through showing you, we're going to release him. We're going to release him. He's going to just keep coming here. Amen. Come here, come here, Stunner. Stunner, come here. I need you now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, Stunner. Y'all engaged, right? Get, to get that handled because you know why? This is where you come in. Real talk. Where you come in. He gone, she has nobody cheering for her. It's all on her. She got to go from one child to another child. Her son is by Bear. It's deep church. I met her at the wake. Okay? I'm right. And she is a woman of God. The word did that, not me, right? But she got a son, she got, this is where you come in. Because at the game, when he show her all that, man, you have no idea. Those, you have no idea what this man gonna show you. He has to do that. But here's what happens. When he shows her all that stuff, ask Jessica. That lesbian, thing on those other coaches comes in and they'll act like they're interested in her but they interested in that lesbian vibe which is against God you know, I'm not having everything huh so you gonna come in when he show in other words she gonna have a dude's game but she gonna be all female like she she gonna have a dude's game but when she leaves, she's going to be dressed with heel. And uh, oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Amen. And, and then when you see that lesbian thing trying to pull up on her, you're going to say, oh, hell no. Amen. This is my daughter. Amen. My husband showed her all that. Y'all better ask God what he's doing. Because this pretty child, look at her, look like a mama, is somebody's wife. Yeah. But what you gonna show her is gonna get her the scholarship. Yeah. You know, can't nobody hold Cappy Poindexter? Yeah. Can't nobody hold Cappy. Cappy Pointer might give you some problems. <laughs> Cappy Poindexter, if you put, man, I don't know, yeah. You know what, Ra Raphael just sent me, he's training a girl in the WNBA. So, Rafi just sent me, before you go to Turkey, he told the girl, I want you to play my baby brother. Because that Cammy don't care who you are. He, wanna, he, he, he tried to play CDR when he was in the league. Cammy like, I don't care, it's one basketball. So, so no, no. Well, he, he, he the baby brother. When, when your dad and your brother get to throw your stuff for years, now can't nobody hold you, you know that. So, Rafi sent me a, a, a little snippet of, this girl, she's an NBA, she's a WNBA. And Cammy is like, I don't care where you are. <laughs> Cammy done got the low profile. I gotta ask him who won. Cause Cammy like, man, you ain't gonna embarrass me. Huh? But I don't know. Cappy Poindexter, can't nobody hold. When he show you all that stuff, you still know that stuff, don't you? No question. He said no question. <laughs> So
So when after the game, when she looked like you, look at your presentation. Look at your presentation. Huh? Man, what's wrong with you? You can't leave that on no counter. <laughs> you leave that on the counter, somebody gonna pick that up. Huh? <laughs> Is this, this real Louis? You know how I went around. What happened if I was gone 24 Street, lay this on the bench? <laughs> if I lay it down here, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> if I, if I lay this, 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 man, if I lay this, man, somebody in the name of the Lord is going to take this. <laughs> She's greater this. It's just stuff. It's God's hand on you. Because after he get through showing her all the little freaky moves, she going to look like you when you, she come out the dressing room. So then the young men going to be going like, God, they bite their fists. Damn! <laughs> and you're going to let them know. You're going to hear them talking about her. Like, damn, I got a little stunner, man. She got game. Uh, and he bite me fists. <laughs> and even that's less than two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to say, yes, yes, that's my daughter. You say, well, that, no, that's my daughter in the law. Mm -hmm. That's my daughter. And you can't hold her. You can't hold her hand. You can't hold her on the court. You can't hold a conversation. You can't hold her attention. Huh? Because you got to come through me. I walked in a holy church and never met her. And God entrusted me. Amen. God who know everything I've been through. That crazy pastor her said I was a wife and not a girlfriend. And I'm not going to let God down. Amen. I had never had nobody believe in me who didn't know. No, Y'all ain't hearing me. And I'm not going to let God down. I am going to protect my husband's investment. Oh, I'm able to call those things that are not as though they were. Amen. Well, so much for your life being over. You done hugged. One, two, three. And with her, God trusts you with her. You know what? I'll finish this message later. This was the message. Yeah. This is the message. Everybody extend their right hand. Man, I cover so much stuff. <laughs> God's hand on you. Never in the back. It's been on your whole life. I know you know I love your sister. I'm the only person who ever, ever made her cry. So I looked through me. But I touched that area. I know Kia, all them. They just can't deal with me every day because I'm too straight up. But they pressed, they got dropped. And you survive. I'll finish this next Sunday. Extend your right hand. We're going to get the hand of Herod off this man. Chained up, the past, stuff that hurt him, mistakes, but you're going to be released yes. to do God's bidding. You're going to get released. You're going to get this stunner with you. You're going to save lives. You're going to eliminate that yellow tape in North Omaha because everybody know you. You ain't going to be up there trying to, amen, whole around after no grant. You are a walking grant, amen. And somebody going to take notice of you. And they're going to bring you the money while everybody else is in line. And amen, United Way. Somebody going to see what's on you and bless you with the money because of her. You got to have her to have the money. She brings the money. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Do you know how many of these kids are out there with no support? You can't count them. You know how many single mess up? She worked a good job. She got to go from one event to another event and another event. Ain't nothing like calling 
my brother and sister. How she do today? You feel me? How she do today? How her grades? Who looking at her? What kind of church you want to go to? What kind of church you want to go to? Huh? We mess up Satan's plan. Everybody he think that he has destroyed, we resurrect them in Jesus' name. We let them know it's because of what you've been through that you have value. It's because of what you have suffered. It's because... Oh, go ahead and get your praise in. Go ahead, y'all better hurry up and let... Go ahead, you ain't got to hold it back. You in a hood church. Get your praise in. Man, go stand. Start praising God. He doing something. Oh, y'all, y'all ain't know how to praise God. So the guys get some praisers over here. Come on, Shaka. Oh, y'all, come on. Y'all don't even know what God doing. Come on. Keep your shoes on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, praisers. Come on, praiser. Tracy, grab Stunner here. This baby right here. Oh, you only knew. 